Zimbabwe's central bank says one bond note, the local currency, is worth one US dollar. But on the black market, $100 is worth 120 bond notes. That's a 20% markup. It's one reason why some Zimbabweans don't deposit cash in banks anymore. Illegal cash transactions are big business for the syndicates who run them. This money changer asked us not to show his face. He says too many high-profile politicians and business leaders are benefiting from illegal cash transactions. He doubts Zimbabweans who are accused of breaking the exchange control law by illegally stashing money abroad will return their riches in exchange for amnesty. Okay, people should return the money that they stole. Which people? I mean, these are people who had always been in the system. If we understand the president, the new president himself, he's always been in the system. And so have all his friends been in the system. And if, to, and if the people who stole money, they stole money, they should return it to where? To who? Zimbabwe's new leader says after February, anyone who hasn't returned money illegally stashed abroad will be arrested. Some economists say if money is returned, it could help ease the current cash crisis. Some ministers were found with the cash in their residences. It's testimony that the money has been taken out. So the former amount, amount of money from the former channel could be $3 billion and above. But if you then bring into account one smuggled through the briefcases and uh, uh, suitcases, uh, we could be taking off uh, quite a, an astronomical nominal high, high, high figure. Emerson Manangagwa is also promising to cut unnecessary government spending. President Emerson Manangagwa is under pressure to deliver, especially on the economy. The unemployment rate is more than 90%. Banks sometimes fail to give cash to customers because of foreign currency shortages. Long queues outside banks are coming at the end of every month. Some customers wait the whole day only to receive $20 because of the withdrawal limit. So waiting here for the whole day, which means we, we, we are delaying the produ uh, production of our country. And the next thing, the companies will collapse. Manangaga was sworn in as president on Saturday after Robert Mugabe resigned. Some Zimbabweans say they are cautiously optimistic he has a plan to revive the ailing economy. Harumatasa Al Jazeera, Harare.